many respects, the notion of trends and patterns in, in charting leads very simply to, very, very directly to the notion of risk control. If we have a market that's trending, we've described very clearly the importance of both the diagonal and the horizontal things. When the market breaks down through it, that is a moment for to cut out of longs and possibly enter shorts. So the notion of a trending market leads directly to the fact that once you've entered the market at, say, here, when the market has bounced off this prior high, um, the stop could be either beneath the diagonal or beneath the horizontal. Typically, you'd have a stop beneath the diagonal and the horizontal. That would be a trailing stop following the trend, so you're always locking in your profits, even if the market chooses to reverse and break the trend. With patterns, uh, the, a similar idea holds good. With a, a head and shoulders top, um, the, mar the, you, the, the market has reversed, reverses here, you enter the trade here, selling, and your stop would be above the neckline, naturally, because the market, the pattern would be broken, would have no more, would, wouldn't have any integrity if the neckline was rebroken. As the market pushes on down, so that you'd move the stop, first of all, to, you, to the uh, uh, level of inception, and then to lock in profits as it, you'd follow the market down with the, uh, as the, to preserve profits. The first issue is establish your limited loss when you begin the position, when you enter the position. Secondly, get yourself as soon as you possibly can into a zero loss situation when there's only upside in terms of the stop being the same level that you enter the position. And thirdly, following the, uh, following the market to lock in profits as it progresses.